Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be talking about a really simple combo lock, and I mean really simple. This is all there is to it, just not even this part. It's it's just right here. That's, that's it. So how it works, with these redstone torches on, this stays powered. And these torches keep the power on, and unless we get this combo correct, like this, the door will stay closed. But, if we mess up, that one turns back on. And if we mess up here, that keeps it on also. Well, it actually doesn't do anything. That's another point. It'll make them think. Let's uh, switch to day here. And yeah, I'm not playing on a uh, fancy graphics right now because Optifine hasn't been updated. So anyways, how you make this is very simple. And of course, if you are going to have this kind of lock, you want to have it inverted like I did over here. I have a, um, a T-flip. And this can be uh, any length of a lock that you want. Let's just break that one like we did before. And let's put a lever here. So now we have this. And now that is turned off. Right now, we're just, for demonstration purposes, we're just going to wire it behind the door. And you see if we turn that back on, it closes it again. Very simple to make, guys, like I said. And, uh, if you're doing it, make sure you, uh, have a three tall door at least, so you know you can't jump over. And so you can't see through the door and see the lock in Quake Pro. That's one thing that'll happen. But anyways, guys, that's what's going to do it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.